Hello, namaste from all of us here at this beautiful Aloe Yoga Studio in Los Angeles. Giving you a big high five. Let's start our practice off. Separate your feet hip distance apart. We're hanging forward. We're hanging down. Shake out your head and your neck and your shoulders and your arms from here. I love that you're practicing with us. I got a request from my good friend Lisa to make a rock star level really strong class. So that's what we've got coming up for us. So from that forward bend, let's roll all the way up to standing. Lift your arms up to the ceiling. Big breath in. Exhale. Let's fold down, giving you another high five here. And then separate your feet a little bit wider than your mat. And your right hand stays down. Take your left arm up. Let's twist our bodies to the left for a few breaths here. At any point in our class, if it feels a little too intense, you're welcome to modify and make it a little easier. Whatever you want is fine. Just find a strong place for you in this class. And that's all we're looking for. Let's bring that hand down to the floor. Take that opposite arm up. Rotate your body the other way here. That's it. And a few big breaths as we twist on this side. Breathing deeply here. Bring that hand back down to the floor. Let's roll up to standing one more time. Take another big breath in. Arch back with us. And fold back down to the floor again. Nice. Let's walk back to our first down dog of the practice. And just pedal your legs out once you get there. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. Let your calves open up one at a time. And keep your heels down evenly. All right, let's come forward into plank. As you exhale, lower down. It can always be from your knees if you need to. Uncurl your toes, take up dog and back into down dog. Let's do that one more time. Bring your body forward into plank. Exhale, lower down from there. Into up dog again. And back into down dog from there. All right, we're gonna warm up our arms early on here. Let's come back into plank. Five push-ups as low as you want. And they might be from your knees. Whenever you're done with that fifth push-up, let's meet back in down, dog, as that song ends. We're heading into that second song now. And a little more strength and movement. And take that right leg up in the air. And one time, bring your knee toward your nose and hold it here. Extend that leg back out in the air. Let's come into our first warrior one. Bring that foot up. Turn that back foot down. Rise up. Giving you another high five. I'm so happy. We are so happy that you're on your mat practicing with us. Open it to warrior two from there now. Good. And reverse warrior. Let's reach that right arm back. Beautiful. Back into warrior two. And one more thing. Bring your right hand down to the floor inside that right foot. Reach your left arm out and up inside angle here. If you want to make this harder, you can also take that right arm out and up. Just a little more challenging if you want it. Good. Bring your hands down to the floor. Let's step back into plank. Lower down when you're ready. Into up dog again. And back to down dog from there. And warming up that other side. Take that left leg up in the air. Bring your knee toward your nose. We are holding it here. Perfect. Reach it back out. Here we go. Warrior one. Bring that left foot up on this side. And warrior one. To start. Good, warrior two from there. We've got reverse warrior reaching that left arm way back. 
maybe bend that left leg a little bit more at this same time. Perfect. Let's come back into Warrior Two. And left hand down to the floor inside that left foot. Reach that right arm out and up at that side angle. Maybe add that left arm as well. Beautiful. Bring your hands down to the floor. Step it back into plank. Lower down again. Awesome. Take up dog and back into down dog from there. You can add a little more. First, take that right leg up in the air and bring your right knee toward your right elbow and hold it here. Reach that leg back out. Let's come into crescent pose. Bring that right foot up. Crescent, that back heel stays lifted. Find a deep bend in that right leg as well. Now take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, look up toward the ceiling, arch back and roll your shoulders open a little bit. Good, lift your arms back up in crescent again. And one more thing, stay on that back foot, lean out over your right leg and stay right here so it's stronger for that thigh. Bring your hands to the floor. Good, set that right foot back. We've got five push-ups once again, as low as you want. And they always can be from your knees, but when you're done with that fifth push-up, it's up dog, and we'll meet back in down dog from there. It's a rock star level class. All of us have the intention of making you at home feel great and look fantastic inside and out. That other side. Once you're in down dog, left leg up in the air. Bring that left knee toward your left elbow and hold it here. Reach that leg back out. Good. Let's come into crescent on this side to begin. Find a strong place in that left leg to begin. Then we're adding our hands behind our backs, interlacing your fingers. Look up and arch back here. Lift your arms back up to the ceiling. Let's lean out over our left leg, reaching out through our fingertips, bending that left leg a lot. Bring your hands to the floor, beautiful. Let's step to plank. We're gonna stay here in plank. From here, one arm balance on your right arm. Roll to the outside of your right foot. Reach that left arm up. So many options to make it harder. Reach that left leg up off your right leg or take a back bend version. To make it easier, drop that right knee, whatever you want. How you shake that astronaut. We shine right together. We're bring that left hand down to the floor, then the other side. One arm balance in that left arm here. Good. Any kind of variation you want to take. Perfect. Bring that hand down to the floor. Let's just lift it back up into down dog from there. And let's take a chair pose. Step or hop your feet up to your hands in chair pose here. So good. Double high five coming your way. Let's lift our heels up so it's a little harder to balance. Fold it down and straighten your legs. Nice. 
Let's just walk it back into Down Dog and stay right there in Down Dog. We're going to get into our heart rate a little more from Down Dog. Come into Plank. Stay there for 30 seconds. Mountain climbers. Right knee to that left elbow. Back down. Left knee, right elbow. Back down. Keep going at any pace you want here. Now 30 seconds like this. It's rock star level yoga for a reason. You should feel your athletes, your warrior side definitely coming on out with us here. Keep your feet back there in plank. Now we're lowering down from plank. That's it. Good work. Up dog and back into down dog from there. Okay, from this down dog, take that right leg up in the air. And bring your right knee toward your left elbow. Extend that leg back out. Let's come into warrior two. Bring that foot up and sweep your arms around in warrior two to start here. Nice. Then reverse warrior, keep reaching that right arm back. Back to warrior two again. Let's head out to half moon. Bring everything to balance out on that right leg. Your right fingers are on the floor. Maybe they're hovering off the floor. Maybe they're on a block. You choose. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Round dirt road all on my own. Let's step it back into Warrior 2 where we just were. Good. And then last from Warrior 2, bring your right hand down to the floor inside that right foot, your left arm behind your back. So rotate that shoulder open. Maybe wrap that right hand under, clasping your fingers. Maybe stepping that back foot up and taking it to Bird of Paradise. A ton of options here, whatever you'd like. Yes, 20 seconds, find a strong place like and being right like there. The stars in the sky and the sun is here to wash over you, to make you brand new, show you how to shine and let's forget the things we can't change. Release your hands down to the floor, good. Let's step back into plank. And lower down from there. Into up dog. Back into down dog from there. Other side. Take that left leg up in the air. First, bring that knee toward your right elbow and hold it here. Reach that leg back out. Let's come into warrior two. Bring your foot up and sweep your arms around a warrior two to start. Reverse warrior, reach that left arm back. Back in a warrior two for us. Then out to half moon. About 30 seconds here as you balance everything out on that left leg. It's easiest to look straight down. More and more challenging to look up toward the ceiling. But that's up to you. Step your way back into Warrior 2 from there. And then last, bring your left hand down to the floor. Take that right arm behind your back. You can stay here. You can wrap that left hand under or go anywhere else you want. Got it. Release your hands down to the floor. We're going to step to plank and stay right there in plank. Great. Come down to your forearms in forearm plank here. 
Once you're there, lift your right foot up in the air. About 10 seconds here. Set that right foot down. Lift your left foot up. Set that foot down. One more thing. Dolphin. Walk your feet about halfway toward your elbow. So just like down dog, except your hips are high and you're on your forearms here. And now two down dogs. Straighten one arm and the other lifting you back up. Fantastic. From down dog, step or hop it up. Chair pose from here. Two options, stay in chair or turn this to crow, bringing your hands to the floor. Just about 10 seconds, you choose which. From where you are, full forward and down, nice. Let's just walk it back into down dog from there. Staying with your arm strength a little longer. Bring your body back into plank. Stay in plank. Now shoulder taps. Right hand taps your left shoulder, then back down. Left hand, right shoulder, back down. 15 seconds, any pace you want. Keep doing this. I love that rock star in you coming out. I love it in me coming out. Everyone here in this room. A few more times like this. Good, keep your hands down evenly. Let's just lift it back up into down dog. And from down dog, take that right leg up in the air. Let's come into crescent pose. Bring that right foot up in crescent to start. From here, reach your left arm straight forward. Right arm straight back as we twist right. Reverse crescent, reach your left arm up and back. Good, back into crescent pose again. And let's head out to warrior three, bring everything to balance out on that right leg here, good. If your arms are tired, just bring your hands to your heart. From here, bring your left fingers to the floor or a block or hover them off the floor. Right arm up, twisting half moon. You can always also reach back and grab your foot behind you with that right hand as another option. But twisting half moon here. that hand down to the floor standing splits a few more breaths get that left leg high your torso moves down toward that right leg good step it back into crescent pose from there where we begin one more thing bring your left hand down to the floor take your right arm up to the ceiling Either stay here or turn it to one arm balance. If you want to slide that right leg back or take any variation of that. Let's go. But ring your hand down. If your foot's up, step to plank and we're lowering down from there. Good. Into up dog and back into down dog. It's our last couple minutes of strength. Standing strength to go. From down dog, take that left leg up in the air. Crescent starts us off here. That's it. Reach your right arm straight forward. Our left arms reach back as we twist left. Reverse crescent. Right arm up and back in that back bend and twist. Back into crescent for us here. Nice. 
and out to Warrior 3, any arm position you want, balancing on that left side here. Twisting half moon next, right fingers come down, left arm up, maybe grab your foot, we're twisting left here, about 20 seconds in twisting half moon like this. Bring that hand down to the floor. Now standing splits. That back leg gets high. Torso moves down toward that left shin here. Good, let's step back into crescent pose from there, reaching back up where we began. So good, another high five. I'm proud of you. We are all proud of you. And now bring your right hand down to the floor. Take your left arm up. Stay here or choose one arm balance or any kind of one arm balance. But rain that hand down to the floor if your foot up, step it to plank and lower down again. Nice. Into up dog and back into down dog from there. Almost done here. Bring it back into plank. Stay right there. Mountain climbers again. 30 seconds. Right knee, left elbow. Back down. Left knee, right elbow. Keep going. Any pace you want again here. We're right at the end of our standing strength. Keep your feet back into plank. Let's lower down from there. Into up dog. Beautiful. Back into down dog from there. And either step or hop your feet up to your hands, bend your legs, sit down onto your mat, giving you another high five, telling you I'm proud of you. We are all proud of you. Fantastic work. We're just gonna roll onto our backs and hug your legs in once you're on your back from there. So, so good. You are a rock star. And now getting into our abs from here. Bring your hands by your ears or behind your head. 30 seconds. Let's bicycle from right to left. Go at any pace and rhythm you want like this. Getting right back into our strength, into our core strength. Any pace you want. Just keep going here. Hug your legs in from there. Let your arms come by your side. Now reach your legs up to the ceiling. 30 more seconds. You're lowering your legs almost down to the floor. And they rise back up. Keep going for half a minute. Any pace you want here. There's a way that makes you feel stronger. Got you leaving at the time she wanders. Stay on tune. We'll get all the Good. Hug your legs in from there. And let's take two back bends. Set your feet down onto the floor. Lift your hips up in the air. Either bridge pose, interlacing your hands under you, or wheel straightening your arms here. Just keep your hips high, whichever back bend you are choosing right now. Bring this back bend all the way down. Hug your legs in from there. Now one more time when you're ready, set your feet down, lift your hips up, bridge pose or wheel pose, whichever you'd like. 
It makes us so happy that you are choosing to do yoga to make your body feel better. Take one more big breath here. Bring it all the way down. Hug your legs in. Good. Let's rock up to sitting. Extend both legs straight out in front of you. We've got another forward bend. I get to tell you I'm proud of you again. And when you're ready, walk your hands out and down your legs. About half a minute in a forward bend. Let your back and hamstrings open up here. And breathe a little bit deeper. Good. Let's roll up from here. Let's come into butterfly pose. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees out wide. In about half a minute, bring your body forward and down in butterfly here. Perfect. To come out, let's lift up. Let's take pigeon on our right side. So keep your right leg as it is. Left leg goes around and back. If you want a different hip opener, go right ahead and take that. But for half a minute, pigeon on this first side here. Walking in the snow, searching through the night. Little did I know that you would be that light. Like an angel, you fell right out of the sky. We pray to God and thank Him for this blessing every night. And I say, I just fell in love again. To come out, lift your head, straighten your arms, make your way to the other side. So finding pigeon or whatever hip opener you'd like again, half a minute. Just like I'm this. I'm gonna protect you from the suffering. Mm -hmm. And I just fell in love again. I fell in love again. Looking at you and your mother's hands and your mother's hands. It made me feel like another man. And I feel like another man. And I promise I'll protect you from the suffering. From the suffering. To come out, lift up. Let's sweep that right leg around and forward. And come onto our backs. Once you're on your back, hug your right leg into your body. Left leg out and taking a twist. Left hand takes that knee left. Right arm out to the right. And you are a gift to the world. Let your light shine. Bring that leg back up, switching sides, hug that left leg in, and take it over to the right now. But God gave us to you when he told me to let your light shine. Bring that leg back up. Extend your leg out on the to the floor. We've made it to Shavasana. So much work in these 30-minute classes. I am appreciative. I'm grateful of your time and your energy and your ability to treat yourself to this time on your yoga mat to feel really good. And with your eyes closed, one last thing for us. Let's take a big breath in together. Hold that breath in. Open your mouth, sigh that breath all out. After changing your body for the better and being a part of this yoga class and community, 
Enjoy these final minutes to rest as deeply as you'd like in the goodness of what you just created for yourself. And just rest here. Begin to move your fingers and your toes again. And slide your heels gently back. And roll to your right side. Press up to sitting with us. And once you are up in any position you'd like, just close your eyes and bring your hands together at your heart or wherever you like. I appreciate your time and dedication and energy to making yourself feel better. When that happens, all your actions are better, your thoughts are clearer, they're more from your source, they're more from your goodness and your kindness, so you get to feel better. And then everyone that comes in contact with you also gets to feel better because you've taken care of yourself. It's beautiful what we have all done together. I look forward to practicing with you again and again on your mat. And wherever you are, whatever you do today, have a beautiful day from here on out. And from all of us to you, thank you and namaste. How was that class? We had a great time in here. I hope you did too. I look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, everyone left. We were all sweaty and I'm just here cleaning up and uh, just glowing from how much fun I had teaching you. I look forward to our next yoga. Namaste.
goes flying when you're wrapped in the moment. One more night, just follow me home. Tell me about all of your dreams.